Uh, I'm Dr. Dileka. I'm acting venerologist, STD Clinic Kalupovila. My topic is recent experiences with the telephone helpline services at the Central STD Clinic Colombo. The services provided through island-wide STD clinics caters a wide variety of unmet sexual health needs of the population. However, still there is a significant proportion who are reluctant to attend STD clinics due to societal stigmas, fears, misconceptions, and misinformation. Therefore, as a contemporary approach, the telephone helplines of the Central STD Clinic Colombo provide sexual health information and guidance on STI care and treatment for the general public. However, caller profiles have not been explored or analyzed systematically during the recent past. Therefore, this study was carried out with the aim of filling these existing gaps related to telephone health line and to make recommendations based on the assessment of caller profiles. This was a descriptive cross-sectional study. We recorded all 215 telephone calls received to helpline during two months period. And uh, in the research section, you can see 93% of callers were males with a median age of 22 years and 51% were well-educated. Majority of callers were from Western province, while other provinces also represented to some extent. 84% were first time callers. Majority were heterosexuals with 48% were having homosexual orientation. Uh, the vast majority had unprotected sexual encounters. Majority were calling to inquire service delivery points to inquire HIV or HIV testing services and information on HIV symptoms. Among those 58% who had HIV related issues, 75% had problems related to HIV symptoms and 56% had inquiries on window period of HIV tests. Further, some were inquiring on pre-exposure prophylaxis related pro services STI symptoms and sexual dysfunctions. 34% were due to misconception related to sexual health and HIV. Most callers discovered the hotline through internet while almost 10% were linked at a lecture and the others through peer and TV programs or newspaper related articles. Therefore, uh, through this study, I would like to conclude that people are using telephone helpline effectively. Therefore, further advertising on helpline through social media and other websites and expansion of the services to the periphery is recommended. Reasons for less inquiries made by females should be further explored and attended. Timely actions to alleviate misconceptions regarding sexual health and HIV while raising awareness on available services is encouraged. Thank you.